Ah, uh, yes. I am making another video today because something came across my desk and I didn't want to wait. Uh, there has been an issue with certain Nintendo Switches. I'm not exactly sure how widespread this issue is because it hasn't happened to me. But a lot of people uh, that I have at least seen on Reddit, on YouTube, on the internet in general have had issues with their battery level indicator. Uh, it would either not, it, it would either show your system isn't charging or that it is charging, but it never really hits 100%. Or if it does get to 100%, it would rapidly deplete itself, uh, say within 10 minutes, and you'd be down to 0%, but then your system would still work for another two hours, three hours long, or whatever the case may be, until the battery actually dies. Clearly, there was a bug or something in the software in terms of tracking the battery that was causing issues. Well, Nintendo, quote unquote, fixed it. Not really. <laughs> in fact, what Nintendo suggests to do about this problem, uh, now that they've released an update that also helps address it, is a little ridiculous. It's actually really bad for the battery's health, to be honest. But let's, let's just dive into what it is. So on Nintendo's support site, they now have an official response to dealing with this issue. And they say, these are the issues that, that, that this solution will directly help fix. The console is never fully charged, or the battery level indicator does not update while the console is charging. Uh, you are unable to continue using the console for a few hours. Uh, you are able, sorry, not unable, to continue using the console for a few hours, even though the battery charge indicator is almost depleted. Uh, or while the console is on and connected directly to the AC adapter, the battery charging indicator is not displayed on the LCD screen. Um, some additional information to this is the switch takes about three hours to fully charge from nothing, uh, if it's powered off or in sleep mode, uh, and the charging time is obviously longer if you're using the console while you charge it. When fully charged, the battery duration for the console can last approximately three hours, and we've seen this confirmed. Some games go three and a half, some go to two and a half, it really depends on what game you're playing. So... Uh, the, this is their solution, and, and they know beforehand it is important. The battery charge display will not be fixed immediately after performing the steps below only one time. It will be necessary to repeat this process several times. So what is the process to fix it? Well, for starters, you need to update your system. There is a new system update out, 3.0.1, and part of the this update or or a newer version if you're if you're watching this video later uh, addresses this issue but it doesn't address it on its own you still have to do the following steps so you have to set the auto sleep mode to never for playing on the console screen or and for connected to the tv uh, step three is connect the ac adapter directly to the console until the battery is fully charged if the battery charge indicator does not reach 100%, simply allow the console to charge for approximately three hours. The console can be in use while it is charging for these steps. Uh, step four, once the battery is fully charged, leave the console alone for one hour additional with the AC adapter still connected to it. Afterward, disconnect the AC adapter and allow the console to display the home menu for approximately three to four hours. You're essentially draining the battery. Uh, the remaining battery life must be depleted as much as possible. Once the battery charge is almost depleted, power off the console so you don't want to let it die. You want to catch it right before it, it's fully depleted. Power off the console by holding down the power button for three seconds. Then select power options, turn off. This is how you completely shut down your system, by the way. In case you were ever wondering, like, how, how come it's just sleep mode? You can actually, you know, turn off the system altogether. Uh, then it says leave the console alone for at least 30 minutes. Uh, for those who don't know, this is like power cycling, in a way. Uh, it's more... Um, a common thing people have to do this with are their routers or their modems. Sometimes if there's connection issues, you need to power cycle. Now, you don't have to wait 30 minutes to power cycle. In those cases, I'm not sure exactly why it's 30 minutes with the switch. This might just be a precaution. It probably only takes a few minutes, but anyways, uh, it's to make sure there's no electricity running through any of the circuits at all. Anyways, and then <laughs> step seven, repeat steps two through six several times. <laughs> um... Then it says the battery charge indicator will improve gradually. So not the reason you have to keep repeating it is because uh, doing it once doesn't fix it. Doing it twice might not fix it. You have to just keep doing it um, 
as it'll improve gradually until it's improved altogether. And this is this is crazy. So let me explain a little bit why uh, why there's some issues. Uh, the, this one guy, uh, Legend of Lex, I think I actually know who this guy is, over on NeoGAF said, oh, hey, this was exactly what I suggested when people told me this is the worst thing you can do. Glad they've got such detailed instructions, though. Uh, a guy on NeoGAF named Gestalt, Gestalt replies, and, and this is interesting because I did some research into it, and what Nintendo was telling you to do is not good. Um, it says, I was one of those people, and assuming we're talking about the same kind of battery, that statement is still true, and I still stand by it. But heck, listen to the company that, for example, recommends opening every port on your router as official recommendations to optimize your online experience. I kid you not, Nintendo has suggested in the past, if you're having online connectivity issues, to open literally every port on your router. Um, yeah, that's a huge security risk. Anyways, uh, they're, they're, they aren't a good source of info on their own shoddy engineering. Their software for reading the battery is borked. It's not an actual manufacturing issue. This exact procedure is terrible for modern batteries and at best is a workaround that will see the issue come back. That, yeah. And this this other guy, NeoGAP, provides some additional information. And he says it has to do with Li Ion's behavior, or lack thereof, under most circumstances. The software is trying to track watts in and out of the battery, but that's an approximation of what the chemistry inside it is actually doing. The only signal that's worth anything is a voltage drop when you get to under 10%. Essentially, nothing is 100% accurate in, in any like any of our our smart devices and stuff. None of the battery percentages are accurate until you get under 10%. Um, anyway, so it says, if you drain and charge but never go low enough to reset the software state, any minor errors become exaggerated and nobody's software is ever perfect. The short version is, if you aren't destroying your Li Ion battery with heat, it might be in better shape than it seems, though you'll have to have to work to get it to notice. My impressions of this issue is that Nintendo had a bug in their battery software that led to it losing track of reality much faster than most devices do. The problem will not go away as long as the Li Ion exists. And for those who don't know, that that's like when, when people talk about having lithium batteries and all this stuff, that's the uh, a further breakdown of the type of battery a lithium battery is. And that's generally what all smart devices, laptops, the Nintendo Switch, etc. uses. Uh, it's the most c common consumer electronic battery out there. So there's a, an issue with Nintendo software being able to track the battery. It's a software-related issue that Nintendo put in a fix for that doesn't really fix it and still requires that people are basically hard resetting their hardware and software and battery itself over and over and over and over again, which is not good for the health of the battery. You are going to shorten the lifespan of that battery. Uh, I don't know, you know, I, I personally haven't had this issue happen to me, so I'm not, it's not like I'm sitting here uh, like, hey, uh, <laughs> that's great. And if it dies while it's still under warranty, that, I mean, that's okay too. Nintendo can send you a new battery. Uh, that doesn't mean your software is going to be able to uh, read the battery. But um, and, and Nintendo just says, if these steps you know, they, they tell you to do don't work at all, obviously contact support. And when that happens, you're looking at getting a new battery. They might even swap out your Switch, which can suck because you can end up losing all your save states on all your games. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a, a good situation uh, for users experience this. And, I, again, I don't know how widespread this issue is, but I have seen it crop up a number of times over the past month or two. And I've been reluctant to talk about it in depth because I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. I figured it was just something that would get patched and we wouldn't have anything to talk about uh, because it's a software bug, right? No big deal. But... It's been patched, and it's still an issue after the patch, and now they're requiring you to do all this hardware resetting, uh, and it's just not a good situation for people that have this. You're going to kill your battery eventually if you have to continually do this. Like, doing it this one time might not be a big deal, but if it comes back and you got to do it again and you got to do it again and you got to do it again. Now, it is possible, and, you know, this isn't detailed out, of course, but if 
uh, the system updates in place. Maybe it just requires you to do these steps and just do it the, the one time, you, you know, go through this process until it's fixed and then the software itself won't allow it to happen again. That's entirely possible. It, so to Nintendo's credit, it could be that they couldn't fix this uh, without people first getting the system to reset itself. So it, it's possible that this will fix it and then we'll never have to hear about this issue again. But it's also possible that it's just a temporary fix and you give it six months, you give it a year and it's going to start cropping up all over again. This is just a situation that I feel bad for people that have it. Uh, and for those who don't have a switch or have been trying to get one and don't have one or who are waiting, this is the reason you guys wait. Um, a, a lot of people, and myself included, I've usually told people that you should not really buy a consumer electronic at launch unless, uh, you know, one, you have a lot of money to throw away, so it doesn't matter. Or two, there's something you really, really, really want to play on that new console right away. Uh, and the reason I, I always say wait is because, one, it's probably going to eventually be cheaper. Two, there'll be a bigger library by then. And three, it gives them a chance to work out all the bugs, whether it's software or hardware related. And yes, there are still some software bugs with the OS. And I guarantee you by 2018, this won't even be a factor for new switches released at that time. So, yeah, you're going to want to, you know wait for some of these bugs to get ironed out this isn't the only bug that's been found with the switch this is just the, the one of the more recent ones and it's something that i it, it's kind of scary uh you know powerful charging your device and then looking at it and seeing it drop to zero percent in a half hour and you think it's dead so you plug it in and then you're keeping your battery on a constant charge which also isn't good for the battery and i know i mean for people who are just going to play this thing docked all the time it really doesn't matter for you anyways but obviously if you ever plan to take a portable this could be a problem uh, again i haven't seen this issue when i go portable haven't seen it when it's docked but that doesn't mean i'm not going to see this issue it could happen i haven't updated my system yet i'm actually planning to update it tonight so then I'm, hopefully that'll help deal with the problem i don't know uh but uh, man I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike it, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more videos like this. And if you already subscribe, thank you so much. You guys are awesome and you are what make this channel happen. And as always, folks, I will see you in the next one.